Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking uh, to you about the changes that I've made in my uh, Red Eye Tree Frog Terrarium. Uh, this is more of an artsy video. I hope you really enjoy it. I did uh, obviously enjoy making it and uh, enjoy. Right, so this is what the terrarium looks like right now. Uh, the glass is all dirty. This, that's the humidifier for the uh, frogs because you have to keep them quite humid. The temperature is at 25%, tw oh, sorry, 25 degrees Celsius, and the humidity is at 67%. Uh, in there is just my uh, self made background. All it is is the exoterra background, and I've just cut out some holes and stuck two coconut shells with holes in them and some rocks for my uh, waterfall which is right there so this is the overview of the tank of the terrarium uh, so I was planning to take out um, this this bromeliad sorry uh, as you can see it is, it's not dead yet but it is dying and hopefully if I take it out I could like nurse it back to health. Uh, then I also have some of these plants but I'm, uh, I'm not sure what they are. But they are like uh, frog safe, uh, safe and I've kept them with my frog before. Uh, take out this dead uh, thorn, well it's not a thorn bush but um, it's supposed to spread in, uh, but it didn't maybe move the branch about maybe i'll get some new branches for the enclosure um hopefully i was thinking to cover the ground in some sort of moss or something and get some floating um floating plants for the big bowl as you can see it does take quite a bit of room off this is a 24 by 24 by 60 I believe so yeah so this is one of the plants that I'm gonna put in it's a Stephantios I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but it's basically a weeding plant on which they can sit and rest on it's quite tall hopefully it'll fit in right so this is the terrarium after I've installed the pathos and um, put in more of these plants. I will make sure to write the name of them. Uh, it should pop up on the screen. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've removed that. Uh, I've decided to leave the water bowl where it is and instead I'm just going to get more of the branches that I had before and put them from one side to the other. So hopefully they'll look uh, quite good. Now I've got my water plant in, which is Nymphnobium. Uh, it is right here. Hopefully it will start spreading soon and cover the whole of the bowl. I can't get to it. The other side. There it is. Um, hopefully, yeah, it spreads fast. Starts growing well. I know I need to clean the bowl out. I will do that. Uh, this is how the tank is looking right now. And, yeah. Right, so now I've got the sphagnum moss in um, all the way down, uh, yeah, all the way around the bottom of the terrarium and in the plant pot in the back as well. Uh, I must say, it does really add to the terrarium. It looks really good now. Uh, this is the overview. As you can see up there is one of my females. Let's see if I can get a close up of her. Yeah, obviously she's sleeping. Um, I'm gonna do like a cinematic. Please let me uh, know down below if you want me to do a um, care video for red eye tree frogs. Cause, um, I'm pretty sure I will. And um, see so yeah, I enjoy the cinematics. Look at them. 